Hello, today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on, uh, it's part, today is part two basically of the tutorial on the Carrara lampshade modeling tutorial. So as we can see how, here, we left off finishing the light knob. So I'm going to get started on this. So this is like approximately 16 minutes long. So what we did right here is we actually kind of modeled this thing right here and we kind of actually looped that around, I think. And we kind of moved that right up, I think. And we actually extrude that out. And I think right now I'm kind of doing, I think, the light bulb on this thing right here. So I'm kind of take, taking off all the smoothing edge. And I'm bringing that up like that. So I'm kind of doing the light bulb right there, I would say. Like that. And just kind of like do more edges like that. And bring the light bulb fixture like this up. So I was kind of scaling down the light bulb to get the right size and the right shape. Extruding that up. And I'm kind of doing the plastic part of the light bulb, I think. And I'm, I started beveling that out. And then I add a light bulb. I, then I add a sphere basically to the bottom of that. And then I select the actual middle of that actual, that actual polygon. So I can actually select the actual item itself. And then I actually basically I actually actually went into construct and I add this the sphere so this the, the sphere one by one and then what I decided to do is went into here and then I start started to go into director's camera and I scale that out right about there and I move that all the way up And then I have that light bulb right there. And then I actually select the item itself. I go into invert, I go into here and I hide that, I think. And then I hit flatten, I think. And then I basically went into here and scaled that down where that was scaled down to a certain degree. And then I basically actually grow the scale right there. And that's what I'm kind of doing right now. And then I basically actually went into here and actually raised this up, I think. <clears throat> and 
And then that's the light bulb already completed. And what else do I actually do? I actually start raising this up, I think, and... I think I'm trying to think what I'm supposed to do next. I'm supposed to do this piece that comes out right about right here, I think. So... So as I as you can see I did the light bulb. So that main thing is now done. So I started constructing I think kind of a cube I think. And I'm trying to do like the the the, the lampshade shade holder I think, the beginning of the lampshade holder. So this thing I'm trying to do right here. So as I can see, I raise that up. Subdivide it and untra un 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 untriangulate un it and stuff like that. So I go into here and I start moving that out, I think, extruding that. Then I started moving that up, start going into here, extrude that up. Just go into here. Start moving that in a way. And bring that up more out more like that. And then I go into here to subdivide that. <clears throat> to kind of sure. And then I basically actually scale that down to fit the actual, like panel right there, I think, the actual cylinder piece. And then I actually started adding that in there. I started beveling that, I think. Then I started adding this piece. And then I started adding different subdivisions in here. So it started looking like that. And then I started doing a round circle piece right there, I would say, on this thing.
And then I just go into here and go duplicate dot. And I actually basically select that round cylinder shape and I went duplicated. And then I actually basically start swishing that around, I think. Then I started moving this. And you went in, into here and I went into the numerical scaler. And then I just basically started going into here and going into the numerical scaler and selecting that, I would say. Raising this up, I think, in a way. And just add that, I would say. And I'm trying to find the right thickness, so like that. So I started doing that, I think, with this. And then I started taking this, I would say. And then I select, when CTR select and selected, it divert us on the bottom. And then I just kind of duplicated symmetry, the other side of that. So I selected this, I would say. Went into here. Kind of made a mistake right there. And then I kind of move that a little bit down like that. And then I delete that and then went into here, duplicate symmetry. So I kind of moved the drawing axis plane to the other side and then I did that. And then I started taking this. Moving that up to top. And then I started doing the round circle that was going to be used around this thing. So I went into here and I actually went with a round circle. And then I actually kind of did, did I'm actually going to do a Gordon surface with this. So what I actually did was I selected a line and I selected kind of a box line box, line box or so, vertex, edge line box. Just right there kind of playing music as I actually do my computer animation. So what I decided to do is go into here. And then I change the dimensions, make sure the dimensions are right, make sure that the Y is set set to, to the right angle as the other one. So I went copy paste on the thing itself and then that's it. Made sure that everything was right. And now what I try to do is I start doing the line. 
So I go into here and I go into, I bring up the line like that. And then I went into the add tool and just kind of add vertices in here. Just kind of drawing out the general shape of this. Getting out the general shape very fast. And just drawing out the, the general shape of that. And just getting out the right measurements down to zero. All of that. <clears throat> and... like that and then I kind of like kind of pause it and took a break at right there and then basically I went back to there and actually actually I kind of actually stopped it so I think that was it so this is where we left off at right there right there and that's what it actually looks like right there. So I guess that's what it what it is. On the next tutorial, um, on the next tutorial, we're going to be doing part three of this, and we're going to be showing what is the final product, which I'm going to show you right now. I have the video already saved, so. That's what the that's what the lampshade holder is supposed to look like right there. So that's what it's supposed to look like. So this is a sneak peek of part three, I would say. So I'm gonna stop this right now. And I guess that's it basically for part two of this tutorial. Please subscribe, give me likes or dislikes, whatever you like. No, don't give me dislikes. Give me likes and please subscribe. And please subscribe. And I hope you enjoy my tutorial. Thank you. Goodbye.